It's a brand new installment of Midwest Ballers High School Weekly Recap. Hey folks, Craig Harden here for MidwestBallers.com and we're in downtown Milwaukee in the third ward at Moda 3 Shoe Store. And if you haven't heard of Moda 3, it's Milwaukee's best kept secret for urban wear, clothes, and sneakers. So let's take a look inside, but first, let's take a look back at the high school playoffs. We get the party started first with four times defending state champs, Dominican Knights. And they're on the journey for a five-peat. And one of the teams standing in their way, Lake Country Lutheran. Dominican offense will get a boost from senior guard Chris Fuller, who makes this acrobatic layup. In the first half, the lead will go back and forth, and Lake Country Bryce Harley gets the shooter's bounce as he knocks down the three. And check out Lake Country Lutheran bench. These guys are a very entertaining group. In the first half, Dominican star Costas Antacumpo was in foul trouble but his teammates Jacob Jones and Michael Ferrarchi would pick up the slack. Lake Country Bryce Harley comes off the screen, buries the jump shot, but Dominican will hold on for the 59-34 win. One team that's looking poised to make a state run, the Destiny Eagles at home facing off against NBA great Karan Butler's son, J.C. Butler, and the Prairie School. Prairie School pushing the rock up the court and Nick Bassinger goes upstairs for two. Destiny's Damon Simpson would patrol the paint and come up with this nasty one-hand putback dunk and that would get the crowd off its feet. J.C. Butler showing off some moves just like his dad. He gets to the rack, draws the foul for the and one. But Destiny is on a mission this season. Romaine Robinson would knock down the tray from the corner and the Eagles would pick up the win 84-71 and are moving on to the next round of the WIA playoffs. Let's go out to Milwaukee Riverside where head coach Tyrone Rock Lewis and his Tigers battle Milwaukee Tech. Terrence Lewis showing us just why one of the many reasons he was named co-player of the year in the city conference with this jam. Milwaukee Tech doing their best to compete in this one. Watch the behind the back pass by Justin Gilbert to a streak of Mikhail Cooper who finishes strong with the left. More Terrence Lewis this time he beats you from downtown and the kid was just feeling it. Check out Pops. He knows it. The Trojans out on the break, and Mikael Cooper, only a sophomore, folks, he is showing off with this great reverse layup. But one of the few guys I would pay to see play, Terrence Lewis, just like Jay-Z said, take us to church. Yeah, he likes that, and Riverside wins and moves on to the next round with an 87-54 win. Moda 3, located in the heart of Milwaukee Third Ward, brings you great accessories, like the hard-to-find stand socks for the person who wants to step up their sock game. When it comes to urban wear, Moto 3 got you covered with Mitchell and Ness apparel and a shoe wall that even the crazy sneakerhead would die for. So stop in or go online and experience a lifestyle change. Let's go back out to Whitefish Bay, but this time it's the Blue Dukes facing off against Wauwatosa East. And the Red Raiders, Javon Green, attacks the basket strong with the finish. Whitefish Bay, David Thompson drives and he kicks it out to Elijah Moore who is automatic from behind the arc. Javon Green this time in transition and shows us just how he finger rolls with his left hand for two. The Blue Dukes refuse to lose this game. Great defense here by Macklin Quarterbin who takes it to the hoop and Whitefish Bay is moving on to the next round with a 65-64 win. Now let's head out to Milwaukee Marshall where the Eagles taking on Milwaukee Madison and junior guard Henry Nolan goes in for the layup. Marshall's forward Tommy Hitman Harbin is at it again folks. This time he throws it down with a simple two-hand slam. The kid has a bounce to a step. Marshall playing great defense and Donovan Sanders picks the Madison guard pocket and then goes in for the easy layup. Marshall Morris comes away with the easy 82-54 win. We're about to look back at the first round of the playoffs and we're still here at Motor 3 in the third ward, but right now we're located at the Bucks Pro Shop. Tell me you ever seen something like this. They got some of the freshest, best gear around town. Also, keep it locked in with Midwest Ballers for the rest of the playoffs as we follow Team's Quest to Madison.